What's going on with you guys? The Cali Effect King of Games here. And today, we're going to be opening a box of Chaos Impact, the Gladiators Comeback. Now, as you guys would know, or wouldn't know, I'm actually supposed to be doing a Marine Sense deck profile for today, but a special treat deserves a special opening. So, uh, the cards that I'm really hoping for in this set is the Marine Sense Blue Tang. I already have one from Sneak Peek, hoping to get more. And then the other cards, of course, the new Gladiator Beast Monsters. Who could live without those? So opening up our very first box of Chaos Impact. Let's see what the first pack has inside. We are going to get... All right. Abominable Chamber, DD Plane, Cauldron of the Old Man, Marine Cess Cascade, Evil Eye of Gorgiano, and the rare is going to be Dream Mare of Cinnamon Sea. We also get a World Legacy, the World Legacy, Escape of the Unchained, and Chromium Eater, the Burning Star. I'll make sure in the future to actually have like a face camera thing. Actually, let's see if we can do that right now. Okay, guys, so with a little bit of innovation, this is like the worst setup I've ever had for any camera. I got my crappy phone hooked up to it. Let's just get into the Chaos Impact opening. If you guys want to see more openings like this, then go ahead and let us know. Going into our second pack, I'm excited. What are we going to get? Crusher Run, Infinite Track, Brutal Dozer, Permineral Man Strong, and Bounty! I, I mean, it's an ultra rare, I guess. Bounty says, if your attacking monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, target one card in the graveyard, add it to your hand. But for the rest of the turn, you cannot activate cards or effects with the same name as the outed card. You can only use activate one bounty per turn. Now, you're normally going to be destroying an opponent's monsters by battle. You could add cards like Nibiru or Thanos back into your hand, but then they'd see the hand trap. So, I mean, I I'm pretty sure we'll figure out something for bounty. Gladiator, Beast, Vasperus, Arrow Mage, I don't know how to say her name, World Reassembly, another The World Legacy, and Escape from the Unchained. Into our next pack, come on, big money, big money, you know what we go here for, we're here for that strongness. Another Primidial Land Strong, Dino Wrestler, Valenix, Arrow Mage, Laurel, Evil Tau, Mega Chilra. Now, I'm pretty interested in what this card does. You can tribute one reptile monster, then discard one card. Spell summon one level six or lower fire dinosaur from your deck. So I guess just evil tile monsters are, you know, Jirak monsters too. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one non, target one dragon XE monster you control with no material, attach two reptile or dinosaur monsters with different names from your hand or graveyard to that monster's material. This card, that second effect, is really good for your um, evil, evil Zor monsters. Gizmek Yada is our super rare. Another Mandarin, Galactic Spiral Dragon, Dances with the Beast, and Desert Locust. So, man, you guys already know what we're on the hunt for. Opening up, we're going to get another Chamber of Unchained, DD Patrol Play, Marine Cess Cas Cascade, a Marine Cess Crystal Heart, Mandarin, Burning Star, Crown Tail, Another World Legacy, and Astral Ghouls. Let's get into the next pack, man. I'm so excited. What can we possibly pull? What are going to be the secret? That's going to be like the craziest thing. We're going to get Watt Train, Action Magic, Double, Double Banking, Suppression Collider. I actually find it crazy that we have not had, uh, you know, just a really powerful normal monster in quite some time or at least that i can think of in recent memory and suppression collider is one of them owner rolls to dream mirror Erkling. it requires two dream mirror monsters with different attributes while this face-up card is on the field it's also dark attribute you can only use the effect of its effect once per turn if another monster you control <coughs> excuse me it's tributed you can target one card on the field destroy it if this card in the owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card you can spell someone one dream mirror monster from your graveyard except to herself i, I guess Blessed Winds, Marine says Slow Escape of the Unchained, A World Legacy World Key, and Marine says Wondered Heart. For the players that are wondering, this is the exact same Marine says card that you got as a super rare from buying the special edition of Rising Rampage. Going into the next one, Bye Bye De Oh boy! Y'all can't see this spice, bro! I just did the deck profile. I just did the deck profile. Gladiator Beast's Comeback, Watt Trade, 
action magic double bacon bird 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 boy we got the blue tank bro blue tank blue tank bro we got the blue tank best box ever nobody can beat this box bro now only thing we need is another blue tank no no but uh dream <coughs> dream mirror I can, you guys know how bad I am with card names. I am not even going to try. Another Burning Star, Bayonetta, and a Gladiator Beast. Gladiator Beast Trap card. On to the next big. I'm just excited we got the blue thing. We got a Dream Mirror of Chaos, Chogum Armor Dragon, another Indomitable Chain, a Primordial Congrate, Gladiator Beast United is our rare, Spiral Dragon Dances with the Beast, uh, Desert Locust, and another Pro Meteor. Like, We've been pulling this card fairly consistent, the Pro Meteor. That's, uh, I, it's, it's okay. It's just really interesting that we see it almost every pack. Next, Watt Train, Gladiator Beast Comeback, a Bulldozer, a Action Magic Double Banking, and a Firewall Dark Fluid Dragon. That is our second, um, secret rare from this box. I don't expect to have another one. What Firewall Dark Fluid Dragon does is it requires three effect monsters, and it says if this card is Link Summon, you can place counters equal to the number of different types of Cyberus monsters in your graveyard. Ritual Fusion Synchro or XC. This card gains 2500 attack for each each counter on it during the battle phase only. When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can remove one counter from this card and negate the activation. Also, if this was activated between this card's attack declaration and the end of the damage step, it can make a second attack in a row. Now, this card isn't, it's not bad, but the problem with it is that there are not, I don't mean to offend you Cybers players because you think your deck's the best, but um, there's no good Cybers monsters that are, yeah. The next card is actually a secret tech spiritual of entanglement that allows you to banish one face up monster your opponent controls into the end phase of that turn. Going into the next pack. Another Suppression Collider, Dream Mirror Chaos, Chobron Armor, the Abominable Chamber of Unchained, the Dream Mirror Phantasms is our super, and the Unchained Twins Reka is our rare. Going into the next pack, I'm we, we got the we got the blue thing, Watt Train, Comeback, Infinite Attract, Brutal Dozer, As Romatherapy, Sweet. I'm not gonna say that card's name. Monster Express, Dance with the Beast, Galactic Spiral, Dino Wrestler, Marshall and Melo, and another Bayonetta. It seems uh, that we haven't gotten to our Ultras yet. That's what I'm really excited about. A Gladiator Beast Rejection is fine, but I will take this card. Draco Masters of the Tenye requires two monsters, including a Link Monster, and it cannot be destroyed by battle with an Effect Monster. If you control no other monsters, you can destroy Effect Monsters your opponent controls up to the non-Effect Monsters you control and or in your graveyard. Now, of course, you can only use this card's effect once per turn. I like that card. Aramage Laurel, Mimicryl, Bringer, a Gladiator Beast Sagittary, Bayonetta, that's actually our rare. Bayonetta, the Gladiator Beast trap card that I can't say, Papalillion, and a Crown Tail. Wow, I'm just like, let's just go ahead and kind of speed this up. Uh, we got a Perennial Crown Great, a Jelly Cannon as our rare. Just because we've already gotten just, whoa, blue tank. I feel like I should do the deck profile all over because I was using two proxies. So our next ultra rare is a Test Panther. Um, we did pick up two for sneak peek, so a third one is definitely welcome. Unchained Reka is our rare. And the Unchained Reka is actually, I think, one of the better Unchained monsters because it is a quick effect to destroy cards on your side of the field uh, to special summon itself. Our super rare is going to be Unchained Hypnaga, and we're also going to earn Dream Mirror Hypnaga, and we're also going to get Unchained Arula. So, if I remember correctly, there are four ultra rares. We have pulled one, two, we've pulled three. So there's one chance left for Gladiator's Rejection. I think that's the last card that I need for Gladiator Beasts. And as you guys should already know, we the Cali Effect like to speak things into existence. So we're going to get a Gladiator Rejection. And if we do get a Gladiator's Rejection, you guys have to destroy that subscribe button, but also hit that notification bell because well, we just too strong. So going into our super rare is Fantastical Dream Force. And we're also going to get our Brutal Beast Battle. 
let's get into our next one. Blue Tank. <laughs> I just can't stop saying it. I like saying that card's name. Does it remind you? <laughs> a Gizmek, yeah, the, whatever that card is, and Solomon Great Transcendence. We also get some other, you know, cards because that's how packs work. On to our next one. Our super rare is another Urkling, and our rare is the Farm. And just going through all of the commons, uh, one thing that I did notice is that we haven't seemed to pull the spiritual card. I think that that card is actually pretty decent in this format. Sorry about that, guys. My battery died on my phone, but we've already seen just the best of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to blaze through the rest of these cards. We pulled an Overbridge Dragon and another Odd Eyes Gorgiano. We also are gonna pull the Dream Mirror Fiend. Friend, my apologies. And then in our next pack, do one more Ultra Rare. Breathing into existence, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna pull that Gladiator's Rejection, and of course, you guys are going to destroy that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and stay strong. The next super rare is Gorgon of Empress Eyed with the Nebula Dragon. This card is amazing. Down to our last three packs. We are going to get a Dream Mirror Phantasms with the Nebula Dragon. This is the ultra rare right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we need. This is that Gladiator's Rejection. I know it. It's not the Gladiator's Rejection. It's actually another Dream Mirror of Phantasms and Gladiator Beast Charge. So this is the ultra rare, because it's the last possible card. Or do you get three ultra rares a, a set? I think you get four. It is the Welling of Unchained Souls. So, no, we didn't get the Gladiator's Rejection, but we did get Welling of Unchained Soul. We also got the Tinye Spirit Ashuna, another card that we've really been looking for uh, for the Tinye deck. But thank you guys so much for watching. Going over our pools for Ultra Rares, we got the Test Panther Welling, a Draco Masters of Tinye, and we also got Bounty. Um, for the secrets, we got Firewall, Dark Fluid Dragon, and Marine says Blue Tang. And then for supers, we got quite the bit of supers since, you know, you get at least one every pack. But thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, possibly later today, for that Marine says deck profile.